running. Yes. Five, four, three, two, one, let's go. <laughs> Hi, I'm Eva and I'm in year nine and I am Irish and English. Hi, I'm Zizi, I'm also in year nine and I am a lot of things, but I would count myself as African, Ugandan. Hello, I'm Estelle, I'm in year nine. I was born in Italy and my parents are from Nigeria. Some people may argue that Black History Month makes people think that we should only celebrate Black history in the month of October. What do you think about that? Well, from Charles Wilson Morgan Freeman, he said that Black history is American history. And I think we should be celebrating what the Black community has done for us. And also, what is the difference between Black history and British history? Aren't they the same? Yeah, absolutely. However, I, I really want to celebrate a lot of black and ethnically like diverse creators, inventors, and entertainers who have totally been swept under the rug over the past couple of years, because um, that's really important to acknowledge them. Absolutely, and acknowledging that black, black and ethnically diverse people during my doctorate is a way of marking the oppression that they've been through for centuries, and a way of kind of, you know, saying that this has to end. Yeah, like a starting point, so yeah. we can lead to change. And not only do we need to acknowledge the important black and ethnically diverse creators, we need to acknowledge the effect of what was done to them in the past, yeah. and what that looks like today in our society, mm -hmm. and how that has affected like, and, like today. And equally um, kind of celebrate their culture as well as what they've brought to us. Yeah. I think also one of the main reasons uh, we do we have Black History Month is important because the black community can also feel left out and we need to focus on including all ethnic groups making them feel a part of our school and community also if people are scared of other people because they're different they may start to stereotype when you stereotype people you're basically saying that a certain person always does a certain thing or they're always like this Stereotyping can then lead to prejudice, and prejudice is a view that is not based on reason or experience. Prejudice can also lead to discrimination. Discrimination is unjust treatment of a person based on things like gender, sexuality, or their race. If we can learn about other cultures and other people's heritage, we can also find out so much more. My heritage is from Nigeria, and I was so fascinated to realise that Morocco is in North Africa. So, I really wanted to share the story of Shrikli Abdi with you because it's so, so important for us to learn. Please read the next slide. So I, my parents are Nigerian, but I was born in Italy, and during as I was growing up, I never really had almost a black role model to look up to. So mostly what I would do, I was playing with my friends, and I used to be discriminated a lot because oh, they used to say, oh, you can't play with us because you're not a certain colour, so you can't be this character. So I felt quite left out, so I had to used my imagination a lot during when I was growing up. My, my own father was stopped by the police when I was just a baby because he was coming from a party and he had rented an expensive car. Now due to the stereotype that um, black people cannot own fancy things or fancy cars, the police thought he had stolen the car and it was a very traumatic experience for him. They say ignorance is bliss, but it's not so blissful for the people who are being ignored. When I was in the third grade, I moved to a new school in the Middle East, and um, they took me and they dragged me to the bathroom. They scrubbed my skin to see if the paint would come off. This was really scarring to me as a child because I thought that there was something wrong with me because me and my brother were the only black people in the school. So we had no representation in there, and it was really hard for us. We need to recognize and celebrate black and ethnically diverse inventors and entertainers and creators who have changed the course of history as we know it, such as Sophia Dilip Singh, she was the goddaughter of Queen Victoria and she was a suffragette. 
the Notting Hill Carnival, which some, some of you may know, was set up by Claudia Jones, who was a black person and an activist. Mark E. Dean, science professor at the University of Tennessee, led the team who invented the computer for IBM. Charles Dew, who was a surgeon and found new ways of storing and transfusing blood. Many people owe him their lives. Mary Van Britten Brown, who invented the CCTV cameras, which are also very important to the safety of the general public. Last but definitely not least, George Washington Carver, an environmentalist who invented peanut butter, a treat which loads of people enjoy. I, as a white person, have never had to worry about my race affecting what I do. Um, in the future, race will never be important uh, to get a job or get into a good university. And I'll never have to worry about walking down the street without being pulled over by a police officer or being the target of discriminatory language and violence. But the fact that many, many people do have to worry about these issues and because of their race, a factor that they can't control, is devastating and horrible. And there has always been an incredibly unfair stereotype that I've noticed growing up and it is that all black and ethnically diverse people are always perceived as foreign, strange and different. White privilege is always having a character that looks like you. White privilege is not having to be a stereotype when playing a childhood game. White privilege is always having a skin colour pencil in your pack and a pencil that matches your skin. White privilege is never having to worry about being told to go back to where you came from when you've lived in Britain all your life and so have your parents and so have their parents. What we said just proves how unjust the world still is. And there are so many changes that we still need to make, but those changes, those changes are starting to be made. And this assembly won't, certainly won't change anything overnight, but hopefully it will put you into the, the correct mindset to help you change. I'm a member of student parliament, but you don't have to be a representative to come and talk about this. Because this shouldn't be kept inside. We should spread the word. Because more, as more we spread, people start realising that black lives matter and also all ethnic groups matter. Everyone's lives matter. We hope this assembly has made you think um, a little bit about all the social injustices and the problems that black and ethnically diverse people face on a day-to-day -day basis. So will you come help us make a change? Help us change. Help us change. <laughs> Thank you.